Lillian Tuba has asked where the money's coming from to sustain a population of 5 million. And of course, Scotland's a, a strong and a wealthy country. We're the 14th wealthiest nation in the OECD countries. That means we are, comparatively speaking, a very, very wealthy country. If you look at the last five years, um, the government publishes statistics every year, which looks at the total amount of revenue that's raised in Scotland and the total amount of money that's spent in Scotland on public services, on welfare, on defence and on debt interest. It looks at the whole picture. And what that shows is that over the last five years, Scotland's public finances were in a stronger position than those of the UK to the tune of £8.3 billion. Pounds. And what that means is that Scotland pays our way. We're a country that can afford the public services that we have. We can afford the pensions that we have. And we are a stronger, in a stronger position in terms of our public finances than the rest of the UK. So the opportunity of independence is to enable us to use the resources and the wealth of Scotland to meet the needs and the aspirations of the people of Scotland, to make sure that we can live up to creating a more prosperous and a fairer country, which has only opened up to us with independence.